Hey guys, it's Linda Winter, and can you tell what time it is? It's Valentine's, or close to it. I wanted to show you a bunch of Valentine's projects. Some of them really scream Valentine's, and some of them not so much. Now, whether you love Valentine's as a kind of commercialized event, or you just like the idea of giving something to somebody that you care about, you know, your dog lovers, your kitty lovers, your gal friends, your girlfriends, whatever, I've got projects for you here. So I want to show you a bunch. Some of these you've seen, a lot of these you've seen if you've been watching me for the year, over the years, but I have some new stuff too, and I'm really excited. We have been videoing and videoing and videoing, trying to get caught up with all of the new stuff that I've introduced this past year. Year. So be sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Linda Videos, it's one word. And if you subscribe to it, you'll get notified when we post new videos. So let's get started. I did a video on my dumpling fussy cuts and I did a video on the dumplings. This is a dumpling. This little dumpling, the no slip material, we'll talk about that in a minute. If you know my stuff, then you know no slipping, no kidding. But the dumpling makes really cute dumplings. This one was made by Linda Olson. You can stuff that with Hershey's Kisses. I bought the Christmas stuff because it's on sale and it was red, silver, and green. And I picked out all the greens and I think I'm gonna save the greens for St. Patrick's Day. So if you talk about cheapskate, that's me. But this guy here, you can stuff with whatever. You can put a gift card in there for somebody that you care about, whatever it is. This little guy, the daisies, I just love it. It's fresh and clean. And inside of there, you can put fabric for them to make a dumpling and give them a dumpling template. How nice would that be? If you've got somebody that's new to sewing and you want to have them come over and spend time with you. Fabrics like this that are home deck fabrics, you can buy these. But how cute would this be just as a gift? You don't have to put anything in it all by itself. It's a great gift. This one was made by Darla. It's the dumpling, but what she did was basically split down the middle to be able to do vinyl. And what I have in here I think is a really great gift. I made an eye mask. This is my sleep mask. I should say sleep rather than eye mask. I have an eye mask. This one is the strap, and this is the small adult size. So in here I put fabric. I put fabric, look at this fun fabric that's on the back, and I would also throw in some of the headbands for elastic and then give them the template and then write up a little note and put a link to my video so that they can make their own eye masks. You can fill this with whatever it is. You can just take these guys here and put it in a bag that you got from wherever, maybe out of your closet if you're into recycling like I am. So that guy there, that's the dumpling. I think I've got all the dumplings that we have on the table here covered the wedge the wedge bottom I haven't done the video on the wedge bottom but guess what it's the wedge bottom bag that everybody is doing it's just a no slip template makes what you cut exactly the same this one I love the strip piecing and you can stuff this with whatever but you don't have to again put anything in it you can just make this and I love that it's red but it doesn't scream Valentine's so that guy there here's another one if you want to do it a little more masculine this is out of a vinyl and this you can stuff with whatever for your guy or your guy friend. I've used a wipeable um, inside so that this really could be a dop kit and you could put in their favorite whatever stuff that you want to give. Deodorants, um, all kinds of those things. Here's another one and you can see I've added one of my little charms. I've talked about the charms in a couple of the videos and I love adding these charms. It's one of those things that I've just kind of gone crazy over and I'll show you some of those later on, but that allows you to unzip and zip. Now, I want to open this one up. This was not in this, but this was a gift that I got from Lisa at Christmas. And you guys know how much I love gnomes. And Lisa was at Houston, and how adorable is this? This was from Jim Shore, and he signed it. I mean, how cool is that? And you all know my love of my kitties. So this could be, if you're getting something like this for a kitty or a dog lover, you could put it in one of the little bags and have that ready to go. Again, you know, you don't have to put a nice gift like that inside, but how special is that? So that's a cool one too. I'm not dropping this one on the floor. All right, so that's a wedge box. 
You can do wedge like this, this guy here with the pet mesh material, stuff it with peppermints. These just smell good. Not just that they, you know, kind of give you some nice breath, but they're nice to snack on when you really want to eat something junky, not so bad. But you can throw in those kinds of things. And the pet mesh, when you sew fabric to the pet mesh and you're doing the boxed bottom down here with fabric rather than pet mesh, it's a whole lot easier to stitch up. And you notice here that she used the zipper as the zipper pull on the side there. So when I film the video on that, I'll show you a bunch more. Similar but different, this was done with my boxed bottoms. Box it square, place it template set. These guys here, there's, there's five of these, and you have on each template two corners. You'll notice there's cut marks there. So when we want to put the boxed corners so that they're the same, we use one of these templates. This is a great gift all by itself. If you know somebody that is into sewing, quilting, crafting this set there's one more smaller one that goes with this too it's just a really great gift to give this what I put inside and again it's the pet mesh what I put inside of here was my handmade tags and ribbons bundle this is a bundle that I have that has just stuffed full if you look on my website you'll see some of these stuffed full of tags that say handmade and some other cool things and then ribbons. These are a whole lot of fun to use to embellish your bags. And this is such a quick, easy project to do. So that can be done with the box bottom. Same thing with this. I didn't make this, I bought this. And the reason why I bought it is I wanted to show, and Monkey has joined us, I wanted to show when you do your boxed bottoms that the boxed bottoms are what makes this nice and consistent. And you can see this one isn't the same as this. It's not the same as this. So not only is it faster, easier to cut with the no-slip material, but it gives you consistency as well. The reason why I threw this in here, though, is because for guys. You know, we've got a lot of guys that we want to be sewing for, and guys probably don't like what we sew. So why not make something, if they're into fishing and they're into whatever it is, outdoor, you know, all of the sportsman's kinds of stuff, then make it out of fabric they, they at least like and stuff it with something that you know that They'll really appreciate. So storage pods. I've got a storage pod here. This is my small storage pod. These come in five different sizes. And what I did with this one for the Valentine fabric, I put a seam down the middle and a seam in the back. I'll show you what the storage pod is really like, but you can stuff this. This says Frye, but you can stuff it whatever with whatever kind of Valentine gift, but it doesn't have to be just for Valentine's. How cool would that be with a gift card inside of there to their local coffee shop that they really like? So this is the storage pod. We're going to pan back and look behind me. And I've got my large storage pod over here. And this storage pod, the way this is set up, what a great gift this would be. I've got in here some of the Pellon that I have, the Ensel Fuse. I had somebody that asked about what do we use for the pot holders. This is the stuff that I use, and I sell it by the yard. I've got some of my um, lightweight fus fusible fleece. I love these guys here. Those are those Teflon sheets that are so good, and I have two different sizes. I've been using a lot of the Wash Away Wonder Tape for my projects. I finally said, I'm not going to cheat myself on taking shortcuts, I'm gonna use the tape, which is a shortcut, but it kind of ensures that I'm gonna get better quality. If you guys follow me, you know I'm a getter dunner. Getter dunner is fine if you're making things and you're giving them and donating, donating, donating. But if you really wanna do something nice, then having a nicer quality project, that wonder tape really helps out. So you can put together a big bundle like this. You'll notice there's a seam down the back but no seam on the front. This is the way the storage pot is set up. But in the video, I show you how you can cut your fabrics, have your separate fabrics there, put a seam down the middle, and really embellish this. So these are a lot of fun to do, not only for Valentine's, but you got Mother's Day coming up too. Mother's Day is another holiday that I think, like Valentine's, is kind of a fun one to be able to do a lot of these same kind of gifts. If you're doing something for a girl, then of course we're going to add some fun fabrics. This is PUL, polyurethane laminate, wipeable, washable, breathable. 
that means they can put their gym clothes, they can put their leotards, they can put things that are going to be kind of sweaty and stinky, but you can also go in and put one of these little guys. I also included this fabric because if I was going to give this to a girl, I'd say, look at this fabric that I got for you. What do you want me to make out of this? And let her pick and choose. I don't know if you guys have ever done that before, but let them pick and choose what it is they want to make. When I've worked with girls before and I've said, you've got all these choices, what do you want to do? It's a little overwhelming. So you might want to give them three or four projects that they can choose from. But I love the idea of picking out a fabric or going shopping with them and letting them pick out the fabric. Notice what I've done for the strap here. Lots of different ways to do straps. My video will show you how to do those kinds of things too. All right, so storage pods. I have another storage pod here. And this fabric was a shower curtain. I love shower curtain fabric, but you cannot iron on this stuff. You have to use that fusible sheet. When you're ironing, if you're putting the fusible interfacing, SF-101 is my favorite. If you're putting the fusible interfacing on the back, you can do it just fine when you add one of these to it before you press. But this, I think, just really gives a nice kind of a fun look. And again, wipeable, washable, breathable. I don't know about breathable, but wipeable, washable for that shower curtain material. And then this is one of the goodies that I have. I have a Valentine goodies tab on my website. And I've got a bunch of Valentine projects. In here, there's a bag with some gnomes. You can tell this is a gnome kit. This is a door tag you can put on your front door if you want, or if you're giving this to a little girl or a big girl, then they can hang that on their door. One of these stuffed gnomes. This is not from my gnome template, but you find those gnomes out there. And then this, hanging with my gnomies, a little cup. And then I've got these pom-poms. And the pom-poms I have either pink or red. When you look at the bundle, you'll be getting pink or red. The bundle that I have includes those items, not this bag. So if you're gonna buy my bundle, you still have time to make a storage pod for them to have as part of their goodie if you're gonna be giving this to somebody. But how much fun would that be to present somebody with this? Even if you, you know, in the morning when they wake up, you hang this on their door. So when they open up their door, it's like, what is that? And then they see this on their door. So some fun stuff to be able to do with that too. All right, that fabric that I have there, I want to show you a new project. And I mentioned the no slip material, so I'm going to move all of this stuff out of the way. And I want to show you this template. Now, you all know probably knot bags. The knot bag has been around forever. They call it a Japanese knot bag. This material, the no slip material on the back, when I grab my fabric here, no slipping, no kidding. Sometimes it's gray, sometimes it's brown. It just depends on when it's being cut. Do you see how this, how that grabs? So when I go to cut around, all of this, it's gonna grab this fabric. Now, for the Japanese knot bag, this is the boxy knot bag. That's what this looks like. This little guy here, it's a Japanese knot bag. I'm gonna put this on my wrist, and I want you to see how this looks. So this right here, Japanese knot bag, but do you see the boxed bottom? Now, I didn't use a fleece on here. I just used SF-101 on here because I wanted it to be lightweight. I have my fabric inside, and I also stuck in a little flamingo that's ready for winter. We're in Florida, and it's been cold here. Today was muggy, but do you see how it's not a flamingo? It's a little bear dressed up as a flamingo. But you can find cute little stuffed things like this and make a little bag like this. You've got the longer handle. Let's take a look. The longer handle here and the shorter handle. That's traditionally a knot bag. What I've done is add the boxed bottom here. Now what's cool about this template too is if you wanted to add the box bottom you're fine. But you can also just cut straight and cut straight and cut straight. And then that will give you basically a plain old knot bag. Or you can do a curve and do a curve and it'll give you the curved knot bag. I'm going to be doing the video. When I show you the video, my hope is that I'm going to show you a little trick over here that instead of having this to go inside of here, I'm going to use a cool piece of hardware for this. But how much fun would this be to make something like this, put some goodies in there and give this as a nice gift. Now, a friend of mine was telling me that this is the perfect bag for people that like to go out at night, that want to go out 
out and don't want to carry a purse because it sits right on your wrist and it's out of the way and when you're going wherever even if you're dancing then you've got this out of your way and you can put all of your stuff in there so this is a new template that's going to be on my website i'll be adding that tonight so the knot bag that's the boxy knot bag that gives you the boxed corners and this will be a really fast one and we'll be doing a video on that coming up shortly I want to show you another new project, this guy. This guy here, don't get confused because they have knots and they're both boxed corners. So it is, is a little bit confusing. And this is the timey box. Timey box because we're tying it up. So what you're going to do with this is put in whatever. I've got here, remember those um, kisses that I talked about? I pulled out the green, and this can go right inside of here. You can put a candle, you can put some foot scrub, you can put body lotions, you can put whatever it is that you want in here. And when you have this on, you're gonna tie this up. When I do the video for this, I'm gonna show you different ways to do the tie. So you can see this has straight edges. This is the part that gives you that tie. I'll show you how that works in a minute. But here's the one that I made at Christmas. And you can see these are not straight because when you go to sew this, simple enough, once you cut this, we're going to be placing this here, placing this here. And again, I'll have a detailed video that I'll show you doing this. But when we go to cut, we're going to cut all the way around. But when we stitch this, instead of stitching around, we're basically going to stitch to the center and stitch down. So we'll be using this template to mark I'm going to flip this over. Do you see how there's a mark that's, well, it's hard to see, but they're both on both ends. But that mark, you'll go ahead and color that in so you can see that with the metallic Sharpie. And that mark right there will mark here and you decide, do I want it to come down here? Do I want it to come over here? Do I want a little bit of a curve? So you can do the straight edges like I have here. You can do an angled edge or you can do a little bit of a curved corner as well. So this template, the two set here, will make this. Now I mention that right there because when I do the video, one of the things that I want to show you is using something like this instead. So instead of adding all of that fabric, we're basically going to be creating something similar to that. This is going to go inside here. Do y'all get where I'm going with this? And now we've got a more rustic kind of a look. This will be finished off nicely, but do you see how that'll be a cute little whatever? You can put your jams, your jellies, your cookies, all kinds of things in there. And I think that's one of those really cool things for you to be able to see. Put your coffee in, put whatever it is that you like that you're going to be giving this as a gift. But this timey box two template set. This is another one that's going to be added to my website too. And again, don't get confused with boxy bottoms and the projects. All right, so back to Valentine's. We were looking at the pot holder. We just did the pot holder video and it just got uploaded earlier today. This pot holder, of course, it makes the pot holder, but it also makes this really cute little whatever, sleeping bag or bed for stuffed animals. Now, not all stuffed animals are gonna fit in there because stuffed animals, dolls, they come in different sizes. But this guy here, I can just stuff him in and you can see how much further he can go in too. So this one will fit a lot of the little stuffed animals and stuffed dolls and things like that. So uh, if somebody's having a hard time sleeping, if they don't want to sleep in their bed, if they're going to visit grandma and they don't want to go, you can make a little sleeping bag or a little bed for them too. In the video, I talked about this. I didn't show how to do this. If you want to learn how to do that, you just have to let me know. But since we're talking Valentine's, if you have somebody that loves dogs, loves kitties, whatever, there's my sister Schnauzer. There's my sister Schnauzer. If you have people that love animals, then you can make this for them. This was made to hold doggy treats. And remember, I added the two snaps here because dog treats that are inside, if you've got a dog around and there's a snap in the middle, they might be able to pry that open. But with two right there, that's harder to do. But dog treats. If we're making this for a little girl, we wouldn't probably be using dog fabric we'd use something else but we could put all kinds of little goodies in there and then the strap I think just really adds to it and again the charm with the dangle 
you know, you can embellish however it is that you like. But the pot holder makes these. Wear this as a crossbody, have a strap that goes from side to side. You can wear it as a crossbody or you can wear this as a fanny pack too. So this is a fun one to be able to do for not only Valentine's Day, but for Mother's Day, for St. Patrick's Day, for whatever it is, those kinds of things. All right, so tea towels. I love tea towels, and I put tea towels on my website under the Valentine goodies. There's a ton of tea towels. For those of you, I had surprised that people had a hard time finding tea towels. I'm on the look always for tea towels, but this one, there's nobody like you. That's done with my placemat. This is the round table placemat. You don't have to have a table that's round to be able to use these, but the idea is if I have one here and one over here and one over here and one over here, four or five, you can fit more of these than the rectangular ones. But this is done with the tea towel. And I've got tea towels up front here. When we look to see your possum, all you need is love and a good cup of coffee. There's hearts, there's plaids and stripes. Here's an XO. I've got more hearts, all kinds of things. And I've got a big stack over here. And these are just some of them that I have. So these guys not only do placemats, I mean, how much fun would it be to go ahead and serve for Valentine's a nice meal? You know, for me, it's doing some country cooking for Philip. That would make him really happy if I cooked him a nice, real country meal. And I don't think he would care much about whether I had placemats or not. But the idea is if you do sit down at a table, you know, it's kind of fun. And if you have younger ones, then it's nice to be able to dress that up. But I mentioned not only placemats, but also the tea towels. The tea towels that I spent a lot of time getting hooked on, and I wanna show you those behind me. So this little guy here, there's nobody like you. And this was done with my tab top. And this one you can see here, I pinned it because I haven't done the button yet. You can do button snaps, whatever it is. But this guy here, if you're doing the tab top, that's my tab top, towel topper. Towel toppers are a lot of fun and they are a little bit addictive. And then this dress here, it's not that it screams Valentine's, but this would be a really great one to do for Valentine's. But also those towels that I have, you can make, this is the little girl's dress, the traditional little girl's dress towel topper, but not traditional because the traditional has a raw edge here that I just don't like. And I like that this is finished off nicely. It's finished off inside. I don't have any raw edges anywhere. So it's really a much prettier way to do these. And it's a lot faster too. So if you're into the towel toppers, then all of those tea towels are really good to be able to do too. All right, so back behind me too, I I have some additional things to show you. This is a towel or I mean, uh, a, a little girl's dress, the <laughs> pillowcase dress. So the pillowcase dress here can be done with my pillowcase templates. The pillowcase templates come in a small, medium, large, extra large. And basically what we're doing is the armhole. I want you to think about the tea towels and make dresses for little girls out of the tea towels with the pillowcase dresses. If you look on my website, when you go to the pillowcase dresses, their armhole pillowcase dresses, you'll see a Halloween dress and it's basically a regular size towel and there's a little girl that's wearing it and the dress is down to her ankles. So a towel on the front, a towel on the back, for a little girl, it's gonna be really long. And that means also that she can wear it for years. I love doing themed fabrics. So that's something that you pull out and they only wear at that time of the year. Make it really long, and this isn't so much for a little girl, but this is for a bigger girl, and it's pajamas, or it's something they can wear as a dress. So Valentine's, it's a little bit cold, so, and with the towels, they're a little bit see-through, so you're wearing a turtleneck, you're wearing a sweater underneath it, you're wearing a t-shirt underneath when you make these. And these are just super fast and easy. If you have the granddaughter coming over for a sleepover, then 
make one of the towel topper dresses for the pillowcase dresses. So the towels that you see, the towels you have at home, they're called pillowcase dresses because they were originally made from pillowcases. But we don't have nice pillowcases as a rule anymore. And when you do find really nice ones, they get kind of expensive. All right, I wanna pull over my bottle, my bottle bag template. This is the bottle. And this is for wine and coffee and all kinds of things. But you can see here, if you have a Valentine buddy and you know somebody you work with and somebody you wanna make sure that you're gonna give a gift to, then put in one of these shakers and make one of these. And that's a really nice gift to be able to give them. So Valentine's Day gifts that you make don't have to scream Valentine's. So that guy there. And by the way, I have a template coming out to hold a pint uh, mason jar and a quart mason jar. So it'll be similar. It's going to be shorter, but it will hold those two sizes. So there'll be two different templates that will be similar to this. This is the template here. Imagine that it's going to be shorter and then this curve is a little bit further down. And I'll have one that holds pints and then one that will hold quarts. If you do any canning, if you like to do those goodies, all the cookies, the layers and layers and layers, that everything is in there and you just dump it and then add your water or your um, oil, your um, eggs, whatever it is, those stackables, they have all those books out there. You can even stick a book in there. But those templates will be coming. That'll be a little Little bit off probably a couple weeks but that's something to be looking forward to so this is the bottle bag and the video on this shows you a cheater way to join at the top super easy you're not having to do that horrible method that doesn't look nice that I can never master so that's a fun one to do too all right, so I pulled out my little gnome. This gnome is a flat gnome. Those of you that have seen my gnomes or asked about my gnomes, these are not the stuffed gnomes. I have stuffed gnomes on my website, some really cute gnomes, but this is the gnome that's a simple template. There's a template for the back. There's a template for the beard. They're flat gnomes. You can stuff them like I did here and make them fuller, but they don't have to be. You can add a gift tag pocket on the back to put a gift card in there or put a little note. You could add a hanger. You can string these on to all kinds of different um, garlands and those kinds of things. But what I want you to notice is very simple fabric, plaid or a check here, and just a little Valentine heart and some XOXO. There's not a lot screaming Valentines on here because I could take these things off and do something similar, a little green shamrock here, do this in green and do whatever it is, kiss me or Blarney or whatever it is, you know, those kinds of things. And then it becomes an Irish gnome. But I want you to notice here, all of this stuff, this is the gnome kit. I have kits for Valentine's, for St. Patrick's Day, for Easter, for Mother's Day, for sunflowers, for fall, for everything. And when you get one of these kits, it's going to maybe vary from what's on the website. This is brand new. I just saw this and I bought a bunch of these and I love these. Even though this is on gnomes and this is dogs, you can still see in kitties that it's got a Valentine's theme. So that'll come if you order anytime soon. You'll get a bag of embellishments. You'll get more embellishments. There's some of that red. You'll notice I have some in pink here. You'll get fabrics. You can have simple fabrics. These, some of them are more simple. Some of them say more Valentine's-y. You'll get felt. The felt, you'll always have five pieces of felt. The felt is for the back and for underneath the beard. And then you'll have more goodies. These goodies will be themed. So this is a Valentine's theme. So you can see there's a ton of themes in there. This is worth way more than what you're paying. It may seem like, wow, that's a lot, but you're gonna be able to make, 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 make like crazy gnomes. Little bags, these won't come stuffed full of this stuff so you can use those bags. But remember, we've got more stuff, more goodies, and then you have beards. There are always three fabrics, three felts, three furs, three something for your beards. And then if you want to stuff them, you're going to get some polyfill. That's the little gnome kit for the Valentine's Day themed. As I said, I've got themes for, I don't know, probably 20 different themes. You guys have contacted me. Those of you that are not part of the No Gnome Club, you know there's a No Gnome Club. 
no to gnomes. If you're not part of that club and you love gnomes, I've got gnomes. So I have a ton of gnomes for you. All right, so I want to show you another thing, my coffee cozy. If you're going to do coffee cozies, then give the gift card to their favorite store, their favorite coffee place. Um, add the cup if you want to. If you do the cup, then you can make this so that it adjusts. I haven't done anything with my coffee cozies in quite a while, but you can not only add, you notice I have two here and the two buttons, and there's two holes to adjust. You can not only do that, but you can also add a handle on there too. At the trade shows, I showed how to do the handle several times and people loved it. Of course, the tissue holders always, if you're gonna be making a lot of quick gifts and you want to give one to everybody in the office this is a fun one to do super fast super easy there are two templates that you get in here the video walks you through the process and there's a fussy cut frame the fussy cut frame lets you fussy cut the back side this one there's nothing to it until i flip it over and oh there it is for a little girl so these guys here make this guy this guy here makes these this one i don't need the fussy cut frame so if you've got fabrics that don't have any kind of feature on the back that you don't need to feature then you don't need this but it's not that much more so if you're going to buy these i would go ahead and buy these all right i've got another project that screams valentine but it doesn't have to be valentine i haven't done the video on this it's one of those things i still want to do a few more projects to be able to show you what else you can do with this template. You'll notice this one is flat and it's basically this. We've just sewn right sides together. I've got this little plastic vinyl here and there's hearts on there. There's a snap. But this one, if you notice, this guy is raised up. Raised up like that allows you to put in something a little bit bigger. You could even put two if you wanted to do that. So this is a fun one as well. And remember these guys here, these you can add, and there's Monkey joining us, so you can add these guys right here too. And then another really great tool for Valentine's, for your Valentine, if you've got a bunch of girlfriends, then one of these stilettos. I was really surprised and really pleasantly surprised, happily surprised, and Philip was too, about how much you all loved these. So you have gloss or non-gloss, you've got red oak, you've got walnut, and you've got the black burl walnut. So those three options there, and we have a video that's already been posted, so that's a fun one to do as well. This guy here, haven't done the video on this yet. This is, if we look to see, I've got one, two, three, four. It's like my box bag, but it's curved. And what that allows you to do with the curve is join these guys here, but it kind of plops out a little bit. You can stuff this with whatever it is when you want to put goodies in there. And your fabrics, you can feature those too as well. All right, let me show a couple other things. This, Darla made this for me recently. This was made out of the mask template, my mask keeper template, that's the zipper top. But imagine this, if you really want to do Valentine's, you could do this with all your leftover scraps from whatever projects and have it scream in Valentine's or just make it for Valentine's with their favorite fabrics that they love, the favorite uh, line of fabrics. These are some of those templates that I showed earlier for the towel toppers. I want to pull over this since I've talked about, ooh, let's see if I can get this over here. I'm going to pull over this. These are some of those charm dangles that um, I've been really getting into. At night, I sit on the couch, and Philip hates it because we have to have the light on while we're watching TV. But if we look and see, all of these are sewing quilting. Some of these are reversible. So, you know, we can look at the front and back. Some of them are more knitting related. This little guy here. Um, you can see there's quilt and crafting, and I love the sewing machine one. So all of those up above. I'll have these on the website coming up soon. They're not on there yet. I've got to take a lot of pictures and get them posted. So there's kitty and doggy stuff there, and then some generic ones. And then there's more sewing ones down here too, more um, options for you. So I'll have pictures of these on my website coming soon. And some of them, I have a bunch of them, and some of them not so much. Much. I have one that if anybody is purchasing um, between now and Valentine's Day, I have one that I'm going to be throwing into your bag. But you have to, in your, um, your um, piece, add 
Valentine somewhere. You can put it in your address if you want to. You know how you do the, um, the street name and then the um, house number um, or the, the apartment number? If you write Valentine on your address, I'm going to throw in one of these with a little red heart. The red heart is on one of, here it is. It's on here. So this little guy here, between now and Valentine, so you have almost a month to take advantage. So this little guy here, I'll throw that in your package. If you order from me and in your address or somewhere in there, you can always email me too and say, Linda, Valentine, Valentine. So I don't know if you can see that, okay, but that has a little heart and it's just a lot of fun to add the dangles. You can clip on here or you can put this over here like I've done with the zipper. This holds your keys, this clip can clip onto the back pack or whatever it is. Okay guys, I think I'm looking around. I think I've covered everything I want I wanted to show you. I showed some of these. These are fun to have on your packages as well. And those are on my website already, so you can go look for those. And if there's one that you saw here that you don't see on the website, you can let me know and say, I want that black and gold or the pink and silver or whatever it is. All right, Valentine's Day. You love it, you hate it. I don't know, but it's fun to sew for. So get creating, start thinking about the kinds of things that you can create. Hopefully I've given you some good ideas to get you inspired. You can visit my website, winterdesigns.com, and um, I always have coupon codes, so make sure you read through the descriptions. If you follow me on Facebook and go back and read previous posts, you'll see coupon codes that are there. I post every, probably once a week, I'll mention a coupon code for you, and it's a discount code that you can use. My YouTube channel has over 200 videos, so if you need some inspiration there, go look at the videos that I posted recently, and then go look at the videos that are the most popular. That It'll give you a good start to where it is. And maybe go back and look at some of the older stuff. If you've been around forever, I've got templates that have been around forever. My box bag, one of my favorites, and I didn't even really talk about it here at all. So there are lots of great things out there. The microwave bowl cozies, I sell microwave bowl cozies every single day. Um, that's just one of those standards. So if you haven't done my microwave bowl cozies, that's what I have up here with the holes. And that's what I have here with the square. I'll be doing a project showing you how to use the squares for something besides microwave bowl cozies. These come in nine sizes, rounded or square, so you have two options. And like I said, I sell these every single day. So <laughs> go look for those two. If you have any questions, I love when you call me. Calling, I know I'm always going to get you. My emails don't always make, th make it through. Sometimes I find things in spam in my spam folder three days later, and then sometimes I hear from you guys that I never even see that your email came through. So call me. My phone number will be on the screen. It's 850-449-0259. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great time stitching up for those people that you love and for your kitties and doggies and little four-legged creatures that you love too. Thanks. Bye-bye.